ice on my neck, ice on my wrist, you know, that's how star do. Ten milli, ten million for a show, that's how star do. Never, oh, never to be caught on fresh. Okay, that's how star do. Welcome to another exciting episode of Throwback Thursday on Diversity Media. We are delighted with fond memories of those music and films you seem to have forgotten. I'm Uche Obidike. And I'm Chris Wanchuku. On today's countdown, we have two exciting Nigerian movies that trended those days, although some are still in the present day. For our year 2000 kids, those that were born during the Nodos period, <laughs> <laughs> this is an opportunity for you to see the series. And on number two for today, we have our first Nigerian horror series. <coughs> Willy Willy. <laughs> I know some of you don't know uh, about this series, but it used to be our favorite horror films nice. in those days. I already have goosebumps when you mentioned Are you me. serious? Yeah. Let's see our number two. <laughs> I can still remember how we used to gather in front of the TV uh -huh. and when the stuff comes up and everybody is like, hide your face, remove your face. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't think if I watch that film now, I would be scared of anything. Like everything, it's, I feel it's uh, because we are little then, oh. the concept of vampire, you know, the really, really don't die, the game, he shows up and everything, then he yeah. kills you. Mm. So we are scared then, but right now it's just like a joke. So what do you have to say about the present movie industry? Do they still make films that can get people scared? Or is it because of the, uh, our thinking those days that uh, the mm. film is scared? You know, something that is just coming up from Nigerians and all of that. You know, it means that we already have this mindset in Nigeria about witches and wizards. And so when mm. they make, when, no matter how old you are, even if you're 50 years, and you still see movies of ritual or these things, you still get those mm. shivers, you're still scared about mm. it. But, but personally, I don't, I don't feel scared when I watch Nigerian films. For real? Yeah. No matter how horror it may seem to Man, be. You had it. I, I don't feel scared. <laughs> but do you feel scared? I do, sometimes, yes, I do. Like this NS to be, whatever, he, when, whatever movie he produces, it's always scary for me. It's freaking scary. Like, mm. I always get scared. Mm. It's okay. Though there are other uh, present day, you know, scary films like Tato and all of them. I, I think I, I have seen some of them, but I think the producers should work more on the sound effects oh, okay. and stuff like that because it's not just the film mm. or, or the story that make people get scared. The sound and things that comes in with it also make people scared. Even the disappear, appear, appear, yes. appear. How they normally disappear? If, if you have seen that film, the nun. He's stuck in my head. <laughs> Yeah. The pictures mm. but the sound exactly the sound will always make you get scared all right we are now to our number one this series you're about to see was one of the funniest series in nigeria yes title can you can you i don't sell them <laughs> <laughs> let's say our number one papa i just go papa i just go My chairman, I want you to employ the best candidate for the job. You should realize that our marketing department requires the best secretary in view of our supersonic marketing logistics, leptocotic financial analysis, and then um, we can restructure. Hmm? Good day, sir. Ah. Uh, good day, good day. All right, uh, PM. I'll see you later. Okay, sir. 
I can still remember the uh, signature tune. Papa, just go and come Manufacturer, one day I didn't know that production. Oh my goodness. So you told me to help me and sing. I used to, you know, enjoy this production yeah. by then. Although the series is still on on television, mm -hmm. on national television still today, and people still like it. We yeah, have really been in the industry like back then, uh, like yeah. in the 90s and all. Yeah. Still, yeah. So, do you think uh, the present Papa oh, Jasko cool. they are doing it's still as good as those ones we used to see then? Mm -mm. For me, no, I don't think so. I think the one we saw, like the when they started making Papa Jasko like to, in the 90s, yeah. I feel I prefer those ones to yeah, this. They used right to now. be very. It was very funny fun. and all. Oh, you see Papa Jasko, Boyalinko with the. <laughs> pa James with pa the James and everybody in the cast, you are literally funny with their dressing <laughs> and everything. Bro. Yeah. I mean. Anyway, and this brings us to the end of today's episode of Throwback Thursday on Diversity Media. Don't forget to join us same time next week for another amazing episode. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Diversity Media TV and follow us on Instagram at Diversity Media underscore NG and on Facebook at Diversity Media NG. You can also give us your feedback and request for your favorite old songs and movies to feature via same channels. I'm Chris Wanchuku. And I'm Uchi Obidike. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>